Storm Team meteorologist Kate Thornton with Central New York's most accurate forecast. And good morning. So things have really de-escalated in the last 24 hours, and even our alerts are really dropping like flies. You know, we've already expired the ones for Jefferson, Oswego, Northern Cayuga, and even Wayne counties for today. We still have advisories for all the counties you see shaded in purple. This is where we do have the steadier snow lasting until 5 o'clock, but to be honest, I wouldn't be surprised if that's dropped by midday today. We are quiet as we take a look over downtown. Visibility has already improved about a half hour ago. You couldn't even see the lights really it was very fuzzy with the snow but definitely things getting lighter it's currently 33 degrees we are just above freezing so here's live doppler 9 yeah the snow has already moved out of the city west side anything west of i-81 we are dry this morning dealing with some steadier snow once you go farther to the east especially madison shenango Cortland counties that's where we are expecting really any accumulation even then very minimal is the higher elevations that's because this storm is just moving very quickly too quick for really to capitalize on the on the dynamics in the atmosphere but we do have another front right here that moves over us today and that's actually going to help ignite some lake effect snow showers temperatures for a lot of us this is also not helping with the potential of any snow accumulation uh, we are hovering right around freezing or even just above and so especially during the day today any snow that is falling is not going to accumulate unless maybe some grassy areas in the hilltop south of us because we're above freezing and it's also it's April 1st that sun angle is so high this time of the year. It just has the very, very high, has a very hard chance to accumulate. It is going to be get breezy, and with the colder temperatures, feeling more like the 20s today. So you want to bundle back up with those warmer jackets. Everything really moves out of here by about seven o'clock this morning. And then we transition to that lake effect snow showers. And even then, it's very disorganized. Really, nothing really too crazy. No issues getting out and about for today. Any plans that you may have, you should be just fine. The roads, mostly wet more than anything. And that's about it. I'm not ruling out some overnight snow showers as well. Temperatures will certainly get cold enough for some of that to stick. We're looking at a fresh coating to maybe an inch for, again, mostly higher elevations by the end of the day through tomorrow morning. Lows tonight in the 20s. It's another chilly day tomorrow. We'll have increasing sunshine tomorrow. It is going to be chilly and breezy with that wind from the northwest. Saturday temperatures after we start off pretty chilly. We're actually going to warm up pretty okay. Seasonable. Highs around 50. And then for Easter Sunday looks pretty good as well. Perhaps a couple of showers early in the morning for uh, the sunrise services. But during the day we should have some sunshine and highs in the low to mid 50s. And we'll keep up those temperatures in the 50s through the start of next week. We'll keep it dry into Monday. Just watching out for a low chance of some Body showers on Tuesday with a slightly higher chance of showers on Wednesday.